Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Constantine and today I'm going to show you how to create a TTM squeeze watch list that looks like this. There's multiple people out there that are charging $400 for this tool. So here's a free version of it and hopefully this video deserves a thumbs up. Uh, your final product will look similar to this. Your watch list will display the TTM squeeze indicator along as many different time frames as you want and I'll show you how to set that up. So I'm a swing trader and I chose to display the weekly, daily, four hour and the one hour uh, TTM squeezes on the watch list. Uh, this tool does two things. It identifies the TTM squeeze and displays a fired signal. So the code identifies the TTM squeeze and highlights the cell red. It also displays the length or the duration that the TTM squeeze has been in effect. So looking at Tesla here, we can see that Tesla has been in a daily squeeze for eight days. Um, Apple has been in a daily squeeze for seven days and in a one hour squeeze for 10 hours. The fired signal is displayed on the first green dot after a red dot on the TTM squeeze indicator. So looking at this Google chart, the fired signal would be displayed here, 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 and here. So obviously the TTM squeeze can fire to the upside and to the downside. So that's something to look out for when you identify these fired signals. I use this tool on a daily basis. It allows me to quickly identify potential trades. Um, so I can come in into my scan or watch list and I can filter these by uh, squeezes that have fired that day and look for potential trade ideas as well as identify future ideas. So I like seeing something like Google here where the TTM squeeze is in effect in multiple different time frames. So as you can see here, it's in a daily four hour and a one hour squeeze. Um, um, so I can take a look at the chart, set my alerts for Google and move on with my day. So let me show you how to set this up in your platform. In your watch list, select the gear icon and hit customize. In the lookup column, type in custom. Select one of the available custom fields that you have and double click on the icon. Switch over to the ThinkScript Editor tab and delete everything that's there. You will want to copy and paste the code that will post in the description of the video. And that's it, right? So now all you have to do is figure out the time frame that you want to set this up for. So let's say you want to do this for a 30 minute chart. So here you would select 30 minutes any intraday time frame you would want to make sure that this checkbox is selected um, you can name this something like 30 minute squeeze hit ok now you have the 30 minute squeeze available to select you can repeat this process for as many different time frames as you want you would double click them to bring them over to the current set of studies to be displayed and organize them in any way that you want. Hope you guys found this video useful. Please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.